tonight. I can't believe it. We survived! By the grace of the Nine, we survived! In no small part to you, Sir Knight, by your will and the will of the Nine, the Chapel of Zenithar is held against this blasphemer. Sir, I pledge my sword. I wish to join you in your quest to restore the Knights of the Nine and defeat this Umaril. I can only hope to match your bravery and valor. I am honored to serve by your side. Allow me to fetch more suitable equipment. I shall return shortly. Greetings to you. What's happening? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the Ultima. There's an air of mysticism about him. It's my pleasure. Armor? Weapons? I have... That's a good deal. A fine... Come back and see me again. Good.
How may I serve you, Commander? Walk with a nine. How may I serve you, Commander? You've retrieved the mace! I... I can't believe it! Sir Knight, I bend my knee in awe at your wisdom. You deserve to carry the mace. Go with virtue. I know where you may find the gauntlets of the Crusader, for I was the one who lost them. Though many know where they are, they are still lost. I believe there is something you must do in order to retrieve them. Would you listen to my tale and learn of the gauntlet's fate? When the order fractured, I followed Sir Beric into war, taking the gauntlets with me. When it was over, I returned to Cyrodiil. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the weak or pity for the suffering. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. A beggar who came to the chapel each day for help tried my patience one too many times. I lost my temper and struck him. My blow landed harder than I had intended, and he fell to the floor dead, killed in the very chapel of the God of Mercy. I left the chapel at once, of course, but the damage was done. I was weak, constantly weary, and lacked the energy to do almost anything. Ah, yes. As proof of the deed, when I struck the poor man, the gauntlet slipped right off my hands and fell to the floor. Heavy as stone, they would not move. None could lift them. I suspect they lie there still in Coral's chapel. You must prove to Stendar you are worthy to lift the gauntlets once more. Seek out the priests in Coral. Perhaps they can help you. It was placed on me for defying the teachings of Stendar in his very chapel. My entire lineage was ruined by this curse. Whether it is connected to the fate of the gauntlets, I do not know. I have no doubt that they still lie within the chapel of Stendar in Koro. No mortal man could lift them. We had only the best of intentions, truly we did. We meant only to serve the Nine and the Empire. It's hard to believe it all went so wrong. May your sword strike true. My pleasure, really. Greetings, Argonian. What brings you here, my son? Ah, yes. The gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? Yes, well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, a knight of the old order did something terrible, and the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, and no one could lift them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this knight by Stendhal, I think. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Poor Kellen. Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very night from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He suffers from it now. 
He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but, ah, uh, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. It's a horrible thing, truly. One cannot help but pity those such as Kellen, who have such a burden placed on them through no fault of their own. But, but if it is the will of the Nine, then there is little that can be done. The Gauntlets have been here far longer than any of us. I don't expect that to ever change. They'll almost certainly be here long after we're all gone. Certainly after Kellen's family has died out. He's down in the chapel hall, resting. You may speak to him if you like. The church has taken no official position on his teaching yet, but from the reports I've heard, he may be truly inspired by the divines. Bye. What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelder found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Ah, so you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. Wasn't so bad. But it's only gotten worse over time. I'd come here to the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. A elder has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelda, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. You've seen them, I assume. The only evidence of what happened so many years ago. Do you know that I thought perhaps I could lift them? That somehow this curse would be lifted if I could pick them up? I tried for hours, until my whole body ached, and I could barely move. I lay there on the floor next to them, weeping. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I've been at the end of my rope for far too long to be ashamed of anything. I don't know why they're still here. They're so heavy, and I'm so weak. What does Stendar want from me? The church is still in turmoil from the attack on the chapel of Debella. I don't think anyone has had time to really study this prophet's teachings. My best advice would be to go... Listen carefully and decide for yourself. You too. Welcome, Knight Commander. I... I cannot face him. I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him, truly I do, but I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. The curse, I know what would lift it, but I cannot do it. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, 
and I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar, pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? I've told you, the only way to lift the curse from Kellen is to pray to Stendar for the power to free him. But that means taking the curse on yourself. You'll be marked for life, as will all your children and your children's children. Be seeing you. Come back to see the doomed man, have you? Good day. I hope I can help. You too. You... how did you? I feel good. I feel... good. I don't feel like death. I feel like... running! The muscles on you. Sir Knight, thank RK you are back. I have terrible news. Sir Roderick, I think he's dead. A holy knight, like you, questing for the relics at the prophet's call. I was his squire. I believed he was chosen by the gods to reclaim the relics. At first things were going well. He prayed at all the shrines and received a vision, a disturbing vision. The shade of Sir Beric spoke to me was all he said. We must put him to rest. We traveled back and forth across Colovia. He was always asking about an old noble family, the Vlindrils. Finally, he found what he was looking for. We went to Underpaul Cave, and there he fell. He did. I owe him my life. He faced the evil wraith of Lord Vlindril and told me to run. And I did. I know I should have stayed with him. Perhaps together we could have destroyed that evil thing. He said that Sir Beric's tomb was an underpaw cave, which is no cave, but some kind of buried keep. He had learned that Sir Beric had once been a questing knight, like us. He had found the greaves and sword of the Crusader, but then turned to evil. Sir Roderick hoped to find the relics within Sir Beric's tomb, and he did. 
but we also found a terrible guardian, the wraith of Lord Vlindril, Sir Beric. Yes, my lord, and I brought you, Sir Roderick shouted for me to take them, the Greaves, the Holy Relic, they're yours. The wraith, it used it against Sir Roderick. I don't know how that evil thing could use the holy weapon, but it did. It screamed as it struck. I'm sorry. I remember Sir Roderick saying something about the sword before we went to Underpool. It may be important. He was worried that the sword may have been turned to evil, that it may have to be reconsecrated on the altar of its creator, the Divine Arche. That's all I remember. I hope it may help you. Thank you, Sir Knight. I would ask a boon if I could, although I know I do not deserve it. Would you make me a Knight of the Nine? I want to dedicate myself to ridding the world of evil. I owe it to Sir Roderick. Thank you. I mean, thank you, Sir Knight. I will not fail you. Give me a moment to arm myself, and I will accompany you to Underpaul Cave to destroy the foul wraith. Hail, Commander. Shit. <laughs> 